What up, Bucks fans and Peter people? And this is Matt Matera from PeterReport.com. Just want to break down real quick the breaking news that Mike Evans is re-signing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's right. That man right there who's raising his fist, he's fist pumping. I'm sure a lot of Bucks fans are fist pumping right now, is back with the Bucks on a two-year deal worth $52 million. Dollars. That means they got Mike Evans for $26 million per year, which is probably less than what a lot of people thought Mike Evans would get. It still makes him the fourth highest paid wide receiver in the NFL, but it helps out the Buccaneers greatly. And more than anything else, it gives a peace of mind that Mike Evans is going to be the top wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going into this season. They solved one big piece of the puzzle with Mike coming back to Tampa. We got to give a huge round of applause and credit and a tip of the cap to Mike Evans, uh, Jason Light, Jackie Davidson, and Mike Greenberg to get this job done. That Bucks front office, time and time again, they have a difficult task in front of them, and they still figure out a way to get their guy. We always knew this is going to be a sentimental situation for Jason Light. His first ever draft pick as the Bucs general manager was Mike Evans. Mike's been with Tampa Bay this whole time. And very cool, too, because it's only a two-year deal. So if Mike keeps it up, he's kind of betting on himself hoping that he can get another big payday after that. The Bucs don't necessarily have to break the bank for him at the moment. Remember, he is 30. He'll be 31 in August, on August 21st. So there is a little bit of that risk, that roll of the dice, that maybe Mike starts declining. But with his workout regimen, the way that he um, is just an absolute dog every time that he hits the field, um, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. So once again, two years, $52 million, that's $26 million per year, really helps the Bucs out in terms of what else they want to do with free agency. And I think this is great for the odds that Baker Mayfield comes back to the Buccaneers. I mean, we don't know what the bidding war is going to be like just yet for Baker. There are a couple of other teams that do have his interest as well. But now you have this as another bargaining chip for the Bucs. Hey, Mike is back. You had your best season with Mike Evans. And the deal that he took gives the Bucs a little more room to spend a little bit more money on a player like Baker Mayfield. Get that band back together. Now get to work with Liam Cohen for the first time, who will have a similar offense to what Tampa Bay ran last year. So all good news. Let's remember, Mike is coming off a great year. He had 79 catches. 1,255 receiving yards, and he led, he led the NFL, granted he was tied with Tyreek Hill, but no one had more touchdowns than Mike Evans last year with 13 on the season. I can't wait to watch Mike in Tampa Bay again playing for the Bucs. I hope the odds makers give Mike a very low number in terms of his receiving yards uh, on the season. So I can smash the over on that when Mike hopefully reaches a thousand receiving yards again. Remember, he's still kind of building that history, building that record of consecutive seasons with a thousand yards. Uh, he's at 10 at the moment and still counting, still climbing. So uh, still climbing and getting that record can break Jerry Rice's record of consecutive seasons with a thousand yards coming up this year. So a lot of exciting stuff in Tampa Bay. There were a number of free agents that the Bucs had to get to. Mike Evans, Baker Mayfield, Antoine Winfield Jr., Levante David um, as well. And, of course, wanted to sign an extension to Tristan Wirfs. They could check the box of one of those with Mike Evans. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Evans is back with the Bucs.